the four modalities of Phyllis Crystal method. What are the four ways you can practice the tools within the Phyllis Crystal method? The instructions that are given in the workbook related to all the exercises or the symbols, example, circle of golden light, figure eight, tree, maple, etc. You can do them, you can practice them by one of the four ways. You can think it or you can feel it or you can visualize it or you can imagine it. There are four ways. Most people practice this method through their imagination. And then people have doubt. Oh, am I just imagining it? Yes, that's one of the ways of practicing this method. Imagine that I am sitting or standing in a circle of golden light. And the radius of the circle is arm's length, fingers extended. Am I just imagining it? Yes. But is just imagining a bad thing? Is imagining okay? These are the questions that go in people's mind and they don't feel like asking because they feel it's not worthy asking. Because the Phyllis Crystal method is happening inside of us, in our mind. So just the way language like English, Hindi, Punjabi is a way to communicate with and through our conscious mind, with other people, with ourselves. The symbols are a way to communicate with the subconscious mind. And the instructions we give to the symbol are through thinking the instructions, feeling the instructions, visualizing the instructions, or imagining them. Now, all the four methods are equally effective. There is also a tendency for us to believe or feel that those people who are clairvoyant, who can see things, are more superior spiritually. And perhaps that's a level of advancement I have to achieve to be able to do this method correctly. That's not the case, according to Phyllis. She was not clairvoyant herself. Some people are able to visualize it, they're able to see things. Some people imagine, some people feel, oh, I'm feeling that I'm close to a tree. I can feel the presence of high sea. And when someone shares their experience uh, that I feel a certain way, and if you don't, then you feel like, oh, I don't, I wish I did. That's fair enough. Okay, but it does not mean that that modality, that way of practicing the method is more superior than yours, or that your way is inferior to the other one. And some people are not even able to imagine. Okay, especially when you are trying to practice this method for the first few times when when we are when you're in the beginning stages of it and phyllis would explain that just like when you learn how to ride a bicycle it takes time for you to learn to balance the bicycle it's gonna go in a wavy form likewise what happens inside is not very stable it's uh, it goes hither thither then what do you do practice more <laughs> practice will make it perfect some people are not able to feel it or visualize it or imagine it. So then what do you do? Well, we all think all day long. So thinking about an instruction is equally effective. Think, can I think there is a circle of golden light around me? Yeah, I can think it. I can think whatever I want. We think all kinds of things. We think of things that have never happened. We think of things that will never happen. We think all kinds of things, including fearful, negative, harmful things, things that we don't want in our life, we think about them. So we are quite accomplished thinkers 
and we imagine a lot of things. So the tools that we already are good at, the ways we are already good at, just use them and perhaps switch them around. Say, okay, I have been able to do it by imagination. Maybe I can try it by thinking it and see if I can feel it and see if I can visualize it. So switch it around. And maybe you can develop a way of doing things that you have not tried before. As Phyllis would say, have fun with it. Be like a child. And in the process, say, I love me. Encourage yourself. Be kind to yourself. No need to judge. Everyone can practice this method who wants to learn and practice it sincerely including a two to three year old child. It's very, very simple and it's very safe. Feel free to ask questions.